nemesis, Antonina Reznikov, is racing. Uh, I see. She's being listed today, Nathan. This is new to me. Did she just transfer on to 2020? I yeah, am so wondering this. I got, so here, I got a message. And this was a message I got late last night, actually, from Nicola. Oh, wow. And uh, I was going to give you a heads up. Again, it's been a pretty busy morning. Hey there. Hope you had a great reading. Reznikov now races for 2020. So there's going to be some what? press about this. So pretty awesome to see. And this is what we're talking about when it comes to the world of Zwift racing. And up and through... You know, we actually talked about this a little bit on Zwiftcast that in the world of esports, when you have trade team situations like this, you kind of end up with your own Zwift Academy within the community too. You know, it it's it, it yes. starts selecting for who the strongest riders are out there. They start gaining status, and boom! Next thing you know, you've got riders who are riding for pro teams now in the world of Zwift who have come up through the community. Pretty amazing to see. She's put on the radar, and it's because she took it. She's, she's leading out sprints or taking sprints up against Shayna Paulus out on the yeah. Gravel Series last week. She earned her spot. I just saw, what a perfect name there, Leah Thorvalson. Leah was just out riding with some of her friends from Zwift. Uh, I'll actually talk more about that later today up on Pikes Peak. But, uh, you know, one of the riders, Nathan, that I'm looking at here, is, and this is going to be Charlotte Backus, who was on that ride, actually. Charlotte has been putting in monster miles out here. But what team is going to pick up then? So if Reznikov goes with 2020, and again, Reznikov, the Israeli athlete from Ukraine, former pro, uh, actually former pro bike racer, now a professional triathlete and mom of two, the rider that I would be looking to see is Kristen Kolchinski. I would want her on my squad. Watch this now. We're going to see a split in this group, Nathan, possibly here. Is This is going to be incredible aggressive racing out here today for the women. Again, this is the women's A group. We have three other women's races going on, and we'll try to check in. I'm not sure which one, but Nathan's always got something special. There's Reznikov right on cue, moving up to the front. She doesn't have the in-game kit yet. I'm sure that'll only take a, a matter of a few minutes. But uh, as we watch here, Nathan, who's going to make this selection? Let's start taking some inventory. I see that Klein, the Dutch rider, is back. And here, Kolchinski obviously making it. So is there. Who else is making this front group, Nathan? There's a split happening right now. Only 4K in. A lot of riders hanging on. Yeah, we do see it does look like the TBR rider here giving a little bit of a pull at the front. Maybe he was just covering the moves and found herself on the front there for just a moment. Now Klein making away the front coming out of the Netherlands here. Thorvalson now we're seeing from Team Turbo. And then it's going to be Hurley from Live by Cycling. But there is definitely a split happening at the back. Riders just trying to hang on. It does look like a couple have fallen off. Team SZ, Swedish Zwifters here. Trying to close the gap down. She's going to see that on her screen here. Close it down now. This is a race of meters for this rider. If she does not grab back on, Kent, really, she just needs a couple of orange numbers real quickly or this game is over for her. She did Doesn't it. look like she's going to be able to make it happen get in there. here. AEO here coming out of Portugal. Daniel Estrata jumping in here. The Romanian rider, 149 beats per minute. She's going to keep it calm at the back, I think. I think Daniela's going to keep real quiet. You know that she's definitely, uh, you know, not, not a wild card. I would say... Uh, she's a sleeper, though, a lot of times because she knows how to race the race. She knows when to go, and yeah. I think she's going to be waiting until the end for that solid sprint that she's got. She's cool like a cucumber at 5 o'clock in the morning, Nathan, one of the most experienced riders that we have. That's the Romanian Daniela Estrate, the Revo rider. You know who I'm watching today as well? Not just Sisu 2020, but how about Turbo? They've got Helen McKay back. Uh, Helen McKay with Charlotte Bacchus. That's a potent combo of riders yeah Estra we were talking about it yesterday uh, Estrate is more than comfortable tail gunning at this part of the race after that first surge I think everybody uh it it's nice to get that first effort under your belt out here these women are pinning it accelerator down on the floorboard 45 kilometers per hour is the speed again to set the table for you it's not a particularly complicated course out here today 24 total kilometers this is the champagne series thanks to our friends man i tell you wtrl doing such a tremendous job this women's empowerment champagne series nathan over four hundred women are predicted to be participating on any given week now it's a movement yeah absolutely amazing i think this is going to be one of the most attended races week in and week out when it does come to women's racing very amazing job wtrl is doing with the support here and uh having these you know top esports teams with turbo meet up against the top in real life teams that are also taking up esports obviously with 2020 being here now very cool to see 
Um, you know, and I do think that 2020 are going to have their hands full a little bit here, and that might be why they're starting to pick up riders from in the world of Swift, <laughs> actually, because, you, you know, it's been just until recently we saw some celebration coming from 2020. We got to win against these esports riders, you know, just recently was a thing. I mean, it, they, they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to Swift racing. So uh, very cool to see this kind of uh, match of the titans here between yeah. uh, all of the women that are the top, uh, top riders out here. Maybe Evoke makes a play to pick up Kolchinski. You never know. So, Nathan, I want to go back and tell a really quick story here. Uh, Pikes Peak, they call it America's Mountain. You can ride up over 14,000 feet. Now, it is an established Strava king of the mountain uh, and queen of the mountain. And that's where I'm going with this. As one of the riders, I don't think she's with us today. That's V. Wynn out of Seattle, who races quite a bit with this field. She's a teammate and a co-worker of Monalee Keller, who I have shortlisted. As a matter of fact, I would uh, bet dollars to donuts that Monalee Keller finds her way not into the top five today but onto the podium at worst so that being said v win showed up last weekend saturday at the bottom of uh pikes peak and set a new qom beating a rider that we're familiar with here as well uh uh but so beating everyone for that matter and along the way setting not only the queen of the mountain uh, on Strava, but she was delayed by over five minutes at a checkpoint, having to get a wristband with the ranger station. I don't know if that's the only Strava ride I've ever heard that included a stop at a ranger station along the way. And she did it in one hour and 33 minutes from the backside. It's absolutely incredible. It shows you the hard work. And she lives in Seattle and has been swifting almost nonstop. It, it shows you how strong these women are. Look what happened over in France right now. Our friend Lauren Stevens is leading at our which is, for all intents and purposes, the women's Tour de France. She's not only winning, but uh, Kristen Faulkner, who was racing with us on this platform. Remember that Dave Jordan memorial ride we did, Nathan? That was Kristen Faulkner at her best with her community there in New York and her Zwift community. Now she's winning World Tour races. Talk about limitless potential for the women racing out here on Zwift. Yeah, and uh, also coming up with, with some potential, speaking of potential here, I'm going to jump in also with the C category. I do, we do have Russell here now from AEO, and this is a team uh, that I've got on my radar here because they've been showing up, it looks like, um, you know, at a lot of these races here. And uh, AEO, okay, Russell here now, as you do see, we also got uh, Williams, also from AEO. So this is that new team that just got launched. Uh, it looked like a um, uh, Revo. Uh, a, few a few team members coming out of Revo formed their own team, actually. So I have a feeling that that's what's going on here with this uh, AEO team. And uh, I'm going to try and get some more information on this, but I did see it recently, yeah. a, launch of a, a launch of a Facebook, a launch of a, you know, a, a page group and stuff. So it's going to be interesting what kind of competition that they bring to the, uh, to the world of Zwift here with that yeah, new launch. But we are jumping in with the C category. This is the C category. I know you don't have the little C next to the names here, but uh, we'll be following along with them this week, just so everybody knows. We definitely, in this women's uh, ladies, excuse me, ladies empowerment series, we want to uh, jump in with two categories each week. We'll be covering the elite A category every week, and then we'll also be covering the Cs this week. I believe we'll be jumping in with the Bs and then the Ds uh, the following week. So we definitely want to go across all the categories and hype women's efforts uh, in and amongst the racing as much as we possibly can. Georgia Simmerling is in the race here, Nathan, quietly staying in the peloton, obviously a rider to watch. Another one of the weapons on 2020 here. So, you know, realizing that they have Reznikov on the squad now, uh, if you can't beat them, join them. Although, to be fair to 2020, Shayna Paulus had a beautiful win. Uh, I mean, you couldn't script it any better with the way that race played out last week in our gravel series. So it, it certainly is, as you said, one of the most interesting times that uh, that I have seen in the history of esports. And we're seeing that now because of uh, in real life people gathering. I know that Christy Tracy, Leah Thorvalson, and Charlotte Backus all rode to the top of Pikes Peak that I was talking about. So they were calling it Swifters in the Wild, Nathan. And uh, going on, as Jamie Tracy called it, a big dumb ride. And I love the fact that we're seeing that happening now because the power of this community is mind-blowing. Look at this now, starting to string out a little bit. That's going to be Wilhelm that we're looking at now, moving up to the front. Although so many strong women here today, Nathan, how you crack the code on uh, getting this group down under 15, I wish you luck with so many strong riders here. This series yeah. is going to be awesome. 
Do you see the rider here coming out of Ireland here? LC Herd, 161 beats per minute currently. Pretty Grupo Compacto here, it looks like, amongst the C category riders right now. So uh, nobody really taking too many risks. It was a little bit more, uh, a couple more moves, extra moves being made, it looked like, in the A category. So I think the early breaks did happen already, as you do see K Butterfield as well as uh, Pucci and Williams with Herd of Lemurs here off the back. I have a feeling that the Herd there with the TTT is most likely what's going on there. I love it how uh, <laughs> across the week you have uh, all of these different um, sub-teams that end up showing up in and amongst the scratch racing as well. Now a little bit of a move here, though, coming from Evo for the front. Wilhelm from Italy, though, continues to try and press the pace. She's just going to do a, uh, you know, a, a situation where you know, Van Vluten and just push it as hard as she possibly can and maybe break everybody. It looks like what she's trying to make happen here. Channel your inner Annemiek Van Vluten, huh? Not a bad idea. Uh, a lot of us can't even get to that place. As, this is, uh, as, you, as you look now, a peloton that's settled into its rhythm here, but uh, that won't last all that long, I wouldn't think, as we're going to see a barrage coming out of this group. I always wonder, uh, in the in the pre-race meeting that 2020 has, or that Turbo has, or Sisu has, uh, what, how do they go into today? What, what's the game plan? Because you really do, Nathan, no team has unlimited resources out here not even close so you really have to keep your cards close to the to the vest here and make sure that when you do make a move it matters you don't hit out for no reason i want to really quickly well, here could. we are you looking could. at williams here right now uh, and definitely want to give a shout out here to uh the new aeonian that's what it is aeonian team aeonian racing team is an inclusive women's e-racing team aims to promote women's cycling for abilities and across all categories for any female Identifying athletes, we are stronger together. So just as a head up, when you do see AEO, Tyler Williams, as she is pushing off the front and uh, giving a little kid dig here in that C category, good to see. And it does look like they have a growing roster here. So, And I believe this is going to be a team to watch out for across all the categories because I did see they do have a couple also in the A category here. But in the C category, Williams giving a dig now and uh, getting a gap of one second as the Italian rider Wilhelm now Looks to try and get across. We also had a move here being made, though, over in the A categories. We jump back over as we look at Kessler now. 4.3 watts per current, the pro triathlete. Now, Frank goes toward the front there, and we are 11K in. 15 minutes of racing down so far. A couple of moves are looking to be made, but nothing able to separate so far in the A category. It does look like Williams over in that C category is getting caught by the pack. You actually see riders working their way back into the pack right now. About as chill as it gets. I actually saw some uh, less than three watts per kilo for a moment there. So might as well try to throw a little more charge on the battery if you possibly can because it's going to be brutal when we make our way into the final here today. It looks like we're with Kessler right now. So uh, there's Monoly Keller and then uh, Kessler. That's going to be Georgia Simmerling, Reznikov. Okay fanning through some big names right now actually heads up these are two teammates remember that Reznikov is now part of the 2020 program Simmerling her teammate we got a bit of a raid going on in France right now here Nathan so let's see they come underneath that truss one two and they're, it's going to be Reznikov soldiering on. Let's see. That should have the alarm bells ringing. Looks like Charlotte Backus there in the purple is going to be moving her way up to the front. Who wants to chase this down? Not her teammate, Nathan. As Simmerling's going to sit back now. I like this play here. We're almost halfway through this race, and here you go. 2020 is going to push it all into the – well, maybe not all of it, but they're pushing some big coin into the middle of the table now. It's Antonina Reznikov on the go. Yeah, Reznikov giving a little bit of a dig here and going to show why she got picked up by 2020. She can be an extremely aggressive rider. We did see that she did get a couple of breakaways, obviously, in the in the gravel series and won uh, alongside of Kristen Kulchinski with those breakaways. So proved herself and grabbed that contract, looks like, with 2020. And it is breaking the back of the pack here as well. So she's doing her work as one of the workhorses here, it looks like, for the Team 2020 <laughs> now toward the front of this pack. I don't know. I don't think it's an insulting nickname. It not, might not, not be desirable, but how about <laughs> the, the tenderizer, Nathan? Because that's what she's doing, tenderizing a lot of legs back in this group. So when you come on to a new team, one of the first things you do, Nathan, is try to do a good job in your first race, right? I mean, who doesn't want to show up at your first day of work and impress everybody that you're with? So Reznikov is a gamer, no doubt. This mom of two in Israel is 
fierce like you read about. And no doubt she's going to be a huge asset to that team. So nice play, Nicola. I give you credit. That is one of the real strengths that 2020 has had all the way back to uh, it, it's had multiple incarnations is that 2020 references the Olympic year, which is now, I guess, 2021. We're hoping for it looks like will happen. So that being said, we've got some Olympians in this race, like the super savvy Georgia Simmerling. She's won Olympics medals, Nathan, in the summer and winter games. It's really quite a story. We don't talk about her anywhere near enough. Not a big self-promoter, which is something that I can really appreciate. As uh, Daniela Estrate looks like she's right on the, the right end of a possible split. Little gap opening up right there. As it is worth noting today, Nathan, that power-ups should be on. Have you seen anyone deploying them? Looks oh, like yeah, they lots are. And lots and lots and yeah. lots being deployed just now as they come up over the top of the king, uh, queen of the mountain right now. Reznikov now really pressing are. the pace. Look at this split from Reznikov here. And Franco, so Keller now from Evo knows that this is the move to hold on to. Reznikov taking down the points again. So big push over the top for the queen of the mountain. Keller now holding on, it looks like. Just barely. Evo going to try and chase this down, but there's no teammates. It's going to be Team Turbo, I believe, here with McKay and Bacchus, as well as Leo Thorverson, if she's still in there. They're going to try and shut things down, as I believe we're going to start seeing this Turbo versus 2020 situation happening out on course. Bacchus now, now still involved, it looks like. Moving our way backwards, though, here. Sisu is still involved, it looks like. As well, oh, CC slash I race like a girl. Kessler now at the back, but the split happening with Domans with BRT. Simmerlin is off the back. Leo Thorvison actually unable to make this group, and that's out to 12 seconds. This is over for these riders. The lead group is gone. Daniela Strath, they wow. still like <laughs> cool as a cucumber, as you'd say, I think, hanging out tail gunning right now. I tell you, that's big, though. Uh, you got to give Leah some credit. She was just climbing up at 14,000 feet of altitude just a little over 24 hours ago. It's now covered on snow, the top of that mountain that she was on. It better. It's a good day to Zwift, that's for sure. Uh, there's Chris. Dean, speaking uh, of the altitude, speaking, you, just right on cue there, Dave. Speaking of the altitude, there is the ride, there's a picture of where they were at, actually, for that ride wow. just recently. So Zwifters in real life, meeting up in real life, Christy Tracy, Charlotte Backus, Leah Thorvalson were out there smashing in the big dumb rides. Three of them in a row, it looked like so cool <laughs> to see. You can go check it out all over on Strava. Make sure to follow those ladies over there to see what they were up to. Pretty cool to see, and that's maybe why Leah's going... I'm done and literally dusted right now off the back here as we look at this chase group. Hey, take a look at this now. So, again, remembering Charlotte Backus was on that same ride. This is Thorvalson and the chase that we're looking at now. We go back to the front group, and that's going to be the Canadian flag. She does live in Seattle with the Canadian model modely keller there so let's see do some inventory right now this is a really select group that we're looking at s child is there i saw ramsey a little bit earlier wendorf mckay so we talked about helen mckay the teammate of charlotte backus so that's going to be a turbo that we're talking about there they're probably i think nathan yeah i'm going to say that turbo the biggest squad out here, taking a, a little bit deeper look. It, to, to be honest, there's no team that has dominant numbers out here. And right now, the best you have might be 2020 with, do they have two or three riders in our front group right now? Again, remembering that uh, Reznikov is not in kit yet. So I'm going to guess three riders up in this front group right now. The Argentinian RC is here that's a rider that's really showed up and had an impact here but you're right nathan daniela estrate looking like she came with her a game really riding uh i'm gonna a tss probably as low as anyone's out here when you look at uh, that low watch per kilo that's the name of the game help everybody else uh, finish up what they've got on their plate before you start in on yours if you can do that you're riding like a pro. I like Kristen Kolchinski today. Is this going to be her breakthrough win? Nathan, it's only a matter of time until she's picking up the chocolates and flowers. And uh, Kolchinski, I think it's going to be tough, though, for Kolchinski because it's such a flat horse. Kolchinski's this more is of a threshold, yeah. threshold rider. She's, she, you know, we saw her come to the line uh, uh, over and over again, and without a good amount of climbing, she's a very light, high watt per kilogram rider, but when it comes down to a full-on sprint, you know, we've got, you know, the likes of, um, you know, Bacchus has got a really good Fine. kick to the line. We've got Kessler with a good kick to the line. Ramsey be on the watch out. Daniela Strate, huge kick to the line, actually. Wendorf I would be watching out for as well. 
you know, so in Reznikov, obviously, I think maybe one of the favorites when it comes to the kick. So uh, if, unless there's a, sin, a situation where Franco and Kilchinski try and get away on exactly uh, you what know, I any kind of, a, kind of a climb, because they're I more mean, of the climbing types. If you're Kolchinski, you, I mean, her patented move, I mean, she is fearless. Uh, what a warrior. I mean, if I'm her today, I attack from about 4K out, hope I can get Franco to go with me, and I'll roll those dice rather than wait around for a sprint today. As, uh, and, and she's well aware of that, I would think. Is she's really when you talk about the steep learning curve that we have that's a really good example of a rider who has figured out the game cracking the code and again we're getting there now it won't be that long until we're into the finale we're going to go back and pick up the c race here again boy it looks like action is hotting up out there nathan yeah they just jumped over the top of that queen of the mountain that we saw the split happen with the a category and you do see something similar happen as we're backing with williams from aonian and then it's going to be on the front, though, the push coming from Wilhelm again, the Italian rider. She's been super aggressive. We saw her up in the 180s a little bit earlier. Now 189 beats per minute. So she had a little bit more to nice. work with, it looks like now, as she presses the pace of 50 kilometers per hour right now. Moving our way backwards, we're going to see what the break is happening here. And it does look like it's going to be eight seconds back to Bagaglia there. And it's going to be Sarah Strange there also uh, coming. I believe that's going to be Team Revo, if I'm not incorrect. And then Gomez. Uh, and then a little ways back, it's going to be Su uh, Susie there uh, as well as WTRL with a third uh, third group out on course. Here's Sarah Strange, though, with Team Revo in that chase group. The lead riders, though, Team Type 1 Hypers right now on the back. It looks like we got about 22 riders making this lead group in the Cs. Karen Russell's there. We're looking at our land for the BRT. Uh, there's also a Wadi Inc. racing with Kate Peters now. And then the Herd coming out of Ireland. Karagrad coming out of Sweden. So Lime there, Norway, Tomskinson with Team Art, ART out of the UK. So lots, I like the live name there. That's a new one for me. I'm going to have to figure out, is that a new, because I thought that was just promoting that they were live, uh, but perhaps that is a newer team or a team that I'm unfamiliar with here. So I'm going to check out and see what's happening over on ZwiftPower.com. Again, if you haven't done so, we get a lot of our information over at ZwiftPower.com for who these riders are, what they're up to, as well as what teams they're riding for. That's where all the esports are tracked when it comes to Zwift. Hey, I really want to thank the WTRL women. Thank you, Pamela Ward, for, again, highlighting the fact that how do you affect change? Well, you start where you are with what you have with a positive attitude and build on that. And that is exactly what the WTRL women have done along with our crew uh, at the mothership there, Martin and Steven. A big thank you as we take a look now at a big move. What we going said, exactly clear. what we said. And it is exactly what we were looking for. Kol Kolchinski KK has hit out for the prairie she's got all in nathan this is what bike racing is all about so racing out of long island new york kristen kochinski the jeweler trying to create another masterpiece here and who does she have going with her nathan look at this one yeah antonio reznikov here now 7.2 watts per kilo coming from her over the top now franco franco's not now now here's the thing They've, they've stacked the deck where they're like, well, now we don't have to chase because we've got the rider that we wanted on our team <laughs> well, here at this point. So the reality is, is Franco here continues to gone. press the pace, try and push, you know, they can still try and break a few of the riders back. It's now struggling. We're seeing Kessler here as well, just trying to get back on terms. McKay there from Team Turbo here toward the back. Ramsey making her way forward, looking for positioning. If you, Good positioning is look everything on these gap. climbing here, but look at the gap. Kolchinski, she has smashed it here, but Reznikov still over the top. A counter maybe to try and break her still. It's a downhill into the finish here, so, you know, they. it's going to be interesting if they can hold on to this. They're going to need a lot of seconds because that group behind Getting is still large enough that could snowball things to be right back on the wheel, and this is a huge amount of energy you're using, so keeping that gap is all the way to the finish line is going to be huge. Is Reznikov going to set a false tempo here? Now, that would be the tactic if she wants to get her teammates back up into the mix. So Kolchinski has to resist. This is a real mental battle out here as well. So that's going to be Reznikov. Again, remembering, she's on 2020 now. She's got some reinforcements behind her. As that renegade rider is going to be Kristen Kolchinski. So Kolchinski's so savvy now. She's trying to do what she can. She knows she doesn't want to sprint with this group, but she does want to win a bike race today. And this one would be sweet. So Reznikov, they might be gone for good, Nathan. Is we're going to be ticking away here on the, the odometer. There. 
This That's is the, unbelievable, yeah. a stunner, a command performance. So it was Kristen Kolchinski who lit the fuse. This breakaway is the bomb, Nathan, and I think they've blown this race to bits. Now, Kolchinski needs to dig deeper than she's ever dug before. This is where you scrape the bottom of the barrel, and she does. She gets back up onto that wheel. This is going to be a battle royale. It's like watching Godzilla and Mothra fighting off the coast of Tokyo right now. This is insane. Look at Reznikov kick back in the 10 watts per kilogram to grab oh, back onto the wheel. 189 beats for it coming. That's Kolchinski, I thought, was making the attack, but a counter comes from Reznikov now as they see the Queen of the Mountain at the top here. 188 beats for it. They got 20 seconds. They've thrown their hands in They're the gone. air, I think, at this point. They are gone. No. Now, the downhill is very fast, though. It is a high speed downhill. 20 seconds with that many riders still. I don't know. I mean, they still have, I think, a solid well, 10 riders in that pack. We'll have to see what kind of pace they set on the downhill. This is different than the gravel. Gravel, they travel slower. High-speed pavement. I don't know. We'll see if it holds on here. Kolchinski kicks over the top. She grabs that queen of the mountain. Now, Reznikov, continue. The continuance is what it's about. It's going to be about speed, ab- not just power at this point. You know, Nathan, absolutely. Um, and what's really encouraging, actually, the bizarre thing for Kolchinski, and you can see she's going to deploy power that up. power up here. Yep, that's very well done now because just take a little bit of a deep breath, not even a full deep breath, but just anything that you can get right now, any port in a storm, because this is huge for Kolchinski that Reznikov is continuing to keep the accelerator down on the floorboard. That's exactly what you need. If she sits up and waits for her team, that's going to leave Kolchinski in a really awkward situation, but that is not the case. These two are going to the line i think you can call that now and so this then if you want a quick history lesson here and this history only goes back to about mid-july to tell you the truth is these two women have locked horns before this is the uh, i'm gonna say nathan the fourth time that we've seen this exact scenario racing out of a strong field of women these two go clear open up a substantial gap it gets to the point where you realize and we're still not quite there yet where you say that they're uncatchable they're not quite like elliot ness untouched they could still come back if they don't continue to soldier on here. So Kuczynski taking another monster pull, and she's now got Reznikov out of the draft. Kuczynski is riding out of her mind here today. Again, Kristen Kuczynski is a career, lifelong artist, jeweler, and she is putting together a masterpiece. And there you go. Reznikov is back. Again, Reznikov, a mom of two, former uh, professional cyclist out of Ukraine now as a mom of two, still a professional, a triathlete looking to qualify for Kona. Uh, she's at the very high end of the, the triathlon world. Neither one of these riders are what you would call notorious sprinters, Nathan, but they're both stone cold killers. And we have got ourselves this is as good as it gets. These two riders are going to put on an absolute show. These are the gladiators of Zwift. Yeah, amazing job here. Amazing job. Uh, looking here real quickly, uh, as uh, I am seeing some questions coming on through, uh, and uh, one of the questions as, as, as we head into the final here, I definitely want to answer this because uh, we are all about supporting everybody across all the races. Uh, can we get into the B and thanks for covering? Pam, thanks you so much. We really appreciate you being in chat. And, Big shout out to Air Mac for helping us out and uh, showing us exactly what the coverage is all about here. And uh, for this week, it's AMC Thanks, and for Pam. this week. Appreciate that. The question and the answer right in chat, though. So really appreciate that. So that's what's happening this week. It is going to be the A and the C pen this week. So, but you um, bounce it around, Nathan. You you try to cover other, like maybe next week we'll look at the Bs with the yep, A's, Yep, exactly. Right? So we'll be in the A's and the Bs next week, and then the A's and the D's. And if we can see the finish of the B category, we'll try and do so, but there's only so many we can bring in at a time here. So, uh, Kolchinski now, trying to press on. She does not want to sprint with Reznikov, and we're into the final K here at this point. And underneath this little, oh my gosh, here we go. We're going to go underneath the bridge, and it's going to be a right-hand turn. It comes up out of, almost out of nowhere here, and it's Kolchinski versus Reznikov. Kolchinski's going to have to play this so smart. It's going to be about sitting on the wheel, but really, she's just pressing the pace. But I think she has to really try and waste Reznikov's efforts because there's only a 20-second gap. And this, these, this group, if they start to ramp up very quickly with a huge lead-out, 20 seconds is closable. going to be very difficult to do. I think they're gone at this point, but they can't play any cat-and-mouse games. 
Yep, absolutely, Nathan. And that's, you know, whose benefit is that to? Without a doubt, Reznikov here, because uh, a proven closer. Uh, I'm going to say we run these two to the line. And again, history is one thing. What happens right here, right now is another. Look at Franco. But Look at Franco. This is what I'm talking about. Franco kicking 10, nine watts per kilogram here. They're starting to play a couple of games. No, now Reznikov says Again, Reznikov enough. loves that. That benefits Reznikov now is if Kolchinsky hears that or knows that. And there you go. It's coming from all over the place. Absolute barrage going on now. So Reznikov has hit out. He's got this a gap. might it's be gone. enough. He's yeah. gone. It's over at this point here now. The gap is there. Kolchinsky's got nine watts per kilogram. Reznikov is saying, I just got the power. That's all there is to it. And there's the line in front of her. Takes it down. First of the Champagne Series. She's going to be cracking it open. Now it's going to be Franco here. No, no. Daniela Estrate to the line. Helen McKay, though. Turbo. Turbo shows why she's got Good that work, in her Helen. name. Turbo turning on the afterburners. Daniela Estrate trying to hang on. Doesn't do so. And then it's going to be Acre, it looks like. Followed up by Keller. So solid, solid kicks to the line. Let's go ahead and jump on over to the C category, though, as they finish up, and then we'll take a look at the replay as how that all played out, as well as get our results here in the A's. But we saw earlier Wilhelm here coming from the Italian out of Italia in the Italian team in the C category. She's pressed on over the top and doing something similar to what we saw Kolchinsky and Reznikov do just a few minutes ago. Wow, that uh, Reznikov just so strong in the finale. I'm still uh, looking back at that. This is Elvira Wilhelm, the Italian rider that we're looking at, comes in as one of the top-ranked riders. It's Carla Williams, Christine Culver, Elvira, uh, Mel Glover, and Claire McNichol that are the top-ranked riders based on the ZwiftPower.com app, their uh, webpage that I'm looking at here. So... Again, a strong solo ride that we're looking at now. And this finale that we just witnessed there with the A's, we're going to get a look at another rider who's holding on to, let's call it, uh, I'm going to say 11 seconds, it looks like. A little bit more than that. I apologize. 14 back to Nilsson. Yeah, Nilsson, but a couple of teammates here from Team Sweden, they're probably communicating a little bit, I would think, here, Team SZ. Banks, uh, Bankston then right on the wheel. This is, looks like some good communication, actually. Tompkinson to come from Team ART now, Art, and it's going to be 3.5 watts per kilogram coming from her. Not sure she can be able to close things down, but it is going to be Nielsen and Bankston that are maybe be able to pull something off here. They've got continuance up over the top, and if they do, uh, two riders versus one off the front, I think may be able to do something here. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled, though, and see as they come into the finish line here for those top three. Still win out there, perhaps, as they work together on the downhill. It's interesting, Nathan. That one is right on the line when you start crunching the numbers, right? If you have uh, three uh, equally uh, riders of equal strength, right? One rider with a 15-second advantage racing against two chasers. Those chasers are going to get awfully close, if not make the catch. It's the, the dynamics that make this sport so incredible. But uh, another thing that you just fitness is like a house with no windows. Well, heart is the same way. You just don't know what a rider has inside of them. And Elvira Wilhelm right now looks like she is a perennial contender out here. As uh, that podium gets closer and closer, she's just a little over 3K away from having this one put paid. Solo yeah. attack. About 12 seconds, the advantage seconds. now over this. Yeah, and this is, look, it's splitting up even. They're not working together too well. I think, I'm not sure if Nilsson even has the power to come through at this point. 3.1 watts per kilogram and Bankston on a solo chase, but it's going to be a tough day to make it close down. And she's only able to match match what Wilhelm's doing at 186. They're both up in the high wow. 180s, though, at this point. They're absolutely <laughs> burying themselves trying to get this win. Almost anyone else would be calling 911 looking for a medic to come if their heart rate was that high, right? I mean, that's where these athletes live. It's so impressive. And this is what you call a command performance going on. Nathan, there is no better way to win a bike race. I don't care if it's in real life or virtually than coming across the line alone with a moment to uh, virtually zip up your jersey, take that deep breath and feel that sense of accomplishment because there's very little in life, especially when you look at where we're at now, that's sweeter than this sense of accomplishment. It's all you, Elvira. Great job out there today. And she's honing in. Should be inside of 2K to go at this point. Yeah, oh, this uh -oh. Solid... and I'm hearing that we might have a B uh, rider in the lead right here, Nathan, which might be an issue. I'm getting a, a word coming in from HQ. 
And if uh, maybe an upgrade, upgrade situation you here, know, that it'll be right? given to Bankston. And if it's a miscommunication or a mis- uh, you know, uh, then perhaps Bankston will end up taking it down. It'll be a little bit of an upgrade going into uh, the next race. Well, I'm going to back it up a little Good bit. Good thing I'm not on the rules point. committee. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm not involved in the rules committee. That's for sure. Because sometimes you just like to look at the ride for the ride, right? Um, but we'll figure that all out. Either way, we're into the finale here now coming up on 1K to go. This is the chase that we're looking at. Swedish Zwifters are uh, one of uh, pound for pound, as I like to say. Sweden gets it done out there. Sweden and Norway, Nathan, Nathan, if you look at it, the the numbers game, boy, they are really, really big into this platform. All of that effort over the top of the Queen of the Mountain here might be shut down by GCC Aeonian with Karen Russell here. Lamb there from BRT, it looks like. This is a large group of riders here snowballing their way to the finish line. It's only 11 seconds here. Wilhelm's got 28. She's not going to be called here. Bankson with only 10. They're within sight. Striking distance at this point. You look behind her here. She's trying to hang on. It's so classic here. She can just see that pack behind her. She looks behind herself. They're starting to populate in. The pixels are starting to register and that is when it gets scary. (laughs) Nine seconds back. If they start opening up a sprint, Bankson sees them coming. 4.3 watts per kilogram now coming from her to try and hold off. Even her teammate at this point too. Trying to close things down. Five seconds. Felberg continuing on. Yeah, and it's not much further either. It, it, you have to wonder now, would you rather be the chased or the chaser? I think in this situation, I'd rather be the chased. I think that she's going to make it to the line. Bankston here, oh, if they catch her, it's not going to be until within meters of the finish line. So this will be the very front of the race right now. Elvira Wilhelm, the Italian rider, she's going to come across the line first. And then we'll look behind her. Banks. Look at the group. Here. This is coming. She's right going to do it. Only She's seven seconds. She's going to do it, Nathan. It's right there. She has to kick, though. Is she fading? 2.9. Is there a kick from the from, I don't know. Their speed is going to be so incredibly high when they really punch. It's like 100 the meters finish. when they make it happen. Nilsson, though, she might be able to hang on. She Nilsson's kicking. I think she's got oh. it. I think you're right. It's right there. But I believe she's just about to cross here. And uh, we jumped around here, it looks like, a little bit. Interesting enough to see. And, uh, yeah, well, we'll see if we can grab a, what, what happened there with the finish. Apologies, guys. It's because our um, uh, Italian rider had crossed the line. And uh, we'll have to wait and see what the results have to say. <laughs> Not exactly the best time for the jump around. Uh, apologies on that, everybody. Usually we're pretty good there. I think uh, we should have been on Karen, perhaps, Russell. But appreciate it, uh, the patience with that, everybody. Uh, we'll take a look here at the replay, though. Uh, of the A category as uh, we wait for the results for the C's to populate as well. So uh, in that uh, A category, it looks like, here's how things ended up playing off. Reznikov and Kaltinsky were coming to the line, and it was Our quite... Chef. Go right ahead, go right ahead. Yeah, I was going to say our champagne series, we found the right two riders uh, throughout this summer. These have been two of the most impressive on the platform. And Reznikov doing what Reznikov does here, closing out the deal. 2020, just picking her up, as Nathan noted at the top of the show, just signed on to one of the most powerful esports teams in the world. Kristen Kolchinski, man, this is a wild card here. I, if I was a team director, I'd be looking to get a rider like this on my squad. She's going to have some big rides in her future. Huge engine. And then we watched Natalia Franco started this off. I think that uh, Charlotte Backus deserves a little credit as well, helping her teammate Helen McKay, who's going to come across the line here and pick up the bronze medal today, racing out of the United Kingdom. Great job, Helen. That was a solid effort there coming from Helen. Daniela Estate holding on to the line. It does look like behind there, Aker, I believe, was able to hold off the Cryo RDT Swans rider there with Keller right behind. So M. Aker there uh, coming through for fourth. I think Keller for fifth. Back is sixth, maybe? We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to take a look at the results here. Let's go ahead and head on over to uh, the uh, French starting line here and take a quick look and see how things played out. And it does look like, obviously, Reznikov, with her first ride for 2020 out here today, walks away with almost a full second to the line over Kristen Kolchinski there. Kolchinski Welcome there second. to the team. <laughs> That's a huge, that is a huge effort. They ended up, they ended up with seven, uh, 15 seconds over the top of the Chasers. Helen McKay, Daniela Estrate, Marina Arce, sorry, Arce, 
Apologies. Arce? Uh, I'm going Arce? with. Yeah. yeah, I think I think it's uh, Linda Klein then, followed by Lenny Ramsey, Charlotte Bacchus, and then with the unicorns in there, MBK Kessler, and then it's going to be Natalia Franco in the A category. I'll throw it to you for the Bs, and then we'll take a look at what happened in those Cs as uh, our cameras cut out at the worst time possible. Thanks, Nathan. That's going to be Jane Despas taking the win, your gold standard there. Uh, but it was close as Jessica Harvey went to the line with Brenna Sheehan taking the bronze. Janine Willis in fourth, Mackenzie Yates fifth, Joey Lithgow in sixth. Then we've got Sprinty McGinty in seventh, Lauren Wilson in eighth, Rachel Hackman in ninth, and Marjoline Del Vlieger in 10th and that's going to be our bees that we look at congratulations jane and look at that mix of flags there covering three different continents and there are our c's nathan elvira wilhelm getting it done with malin bankston two swedish riders on the podium maria nilsson joining her countrywoman amy feldberg in fourth two americans in the top five with karen russell also there sixth place going to irish woman cat davis way to go cat seventh is claire spencer elaine pratt's and eighth cat tompkinson in ninth and then rachel lamb rounds out our top 10 there for the seas this is the champagne out, i just want to shout out really quickly to those two sz riders uh bankston and nilsson there they just held on to the line. So that was the one th- that was what we were looking for there. It ended up being three tenths of the second for Maria there as she was trying to hold off that chasing pack. And she did do it. That was the images that we did. Good miss work. There. So apologies. I'm missing those images, but that was an amazing job there by team SZ. Good chase by the chasers, but they were able to, it was one of those, very, you know, one of those moments like what we saw the other day <laughs> on the tour. So pretty, pretty, Pretty great. The D category looks like still looking to get across the line, perhaps. So we'll have to wait and see with that. We will be covering the Ds in the final week here. And then the men, it looks like pretty chill in the men's race. And uh, there, there is a men's race, just so everybody knows. If you do want to jump into it, they're stuck into the E pen. <laughs> As, uh, instead of it being, you know, we, we've turned the, we turned the tables a little bit there, I think, Dave. As uh, there is an E pen, though, <laughs> for the men, for the men, if they want to jump out there and be a part of it, we'll, we'll read off the results at the end of the day uh, for the Ladies Empowerment Series uh, for that as well. What a race here out here today. Um, great job to all the ladies. We'll start to try and get a couple of uh, interviews, perhaps, and live racers as we build this out for the next few weeks. This is stage one. Now, some cool things about um, the Empowerment Series uh, is that uh, you can actually race multiple zones. Uh, I, I'm, I'm getting some uh, clarification on this, and it looks like you can actually, uh, the event will run over five stages in France over five weeks, starting Tuesday, September 8th, so obviously today, with three race time zones for each stage. Zones are defined as APAC, EME, and Americas, but racers need not worry about which continent they live on. Uh, all leagues are points based on finishing and position. So um, the amount, so there, the, you can see all this over at the w, over at WTRL.racing. Uh, it, it's pretty, uh, really well uh, run here, as we can see. And um, there's a team competition, individual competition. So jump on out there. We will be covering this each week for the next four weeks after this first one here. So great big shout out to WTRL and everything that they helped put together here, as well as the WTRL ladies team as well. The Empowerment Series, uh, very, very well put together here. Dave, Dave, we've got a, a big week here out on Zwift. Uh, obviously with the champagne series starting today. So everybody jump out and get to check that out. But also with tomorrow, the uh, next up, we're going to have uh, SCR Wednesdays. And then we've got WTRL TTT. And then we've got Pavlov, which we've been working on almost every day, actually, with the <laughs> Pavlov Foundation. Yeah, it's a great time. No doubt about it here on Zwift. And thanks to everybody, especially the WTRL women. I appreciate what's happening here. You are your own best friend when you start creating events like this. So good job, everyone. The racers make the race, and they made a beauty today, Nathan. So thanks, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yeah, 100%, everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow. If you haven't checked out the events, they are all hosted already and and set up for live streaming. Oh, one other event, too, I want to shout out out of Australia. There is launching tonight. Well, 2 a.m. my time around, uh, there is the gravel, the uh, crit crushers, the crit crushers that are happening, uh, the giant crit crushers. If you happen to be just uh, waking up out in Australia or you're getting up super early 
or not super early, but super uh, early UK time, you can jump into those as well uh, as we got our Aussie talent team on that with Swift Community Live. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, though, for a lot more racing and broadcasting here on ZCL. Right on, everybody.